Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. To your younger brothers and sisters who would want to take up engineering in the future. And to your relatives. That's one way you can keep me going inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also, please don't forget to subscribe. Hello, future engineers, subscribers, viewers, and students. There is another problem. I call this Vitamath 80. And the problem is taken from calculus. If you want to anticipate the solution to these problems, then you may do so by posing, posing the video. That should be a good attitude as engineering student. So a car is traveling at night along a highway shaped like a parabola with its vertex at the origin. So you have to see the figure. The car starts at a point 100 meters west and 100 meters north of the origin and travels in an easterly direction. There is a statue located 100 meters east and 50 meters north of the origin. So at what point on the highway will the car's headlights illuminate the statue? So here is the given figure. This is the highway which is a stated parabolic in shape and it is open upward. So the equation of the parabola we have positive x and negative x. The standard equation with vertex at the origin is x square equals uh, because it is open upward constant, which is the latus rectum times y. And for this car, for its headlights to illuminate this statue here, uh, the statue is located at, uh, we call this point P, the position of the car so that it will illuminate the statue as x comma y. And this statue is the tangent to the highway should be directly hitting the statue so that it satisfies the condition that it will the headlights will illuminate the statue. The statue is located at 50 meters, 100 meters east. So that's 100 meters, 50 meters north. So the coordinates of this is referred from the origin is 100 comma 50, while the starting point of the car is at negative 100, 100 meters west, 100 meters north. So negative 100 comma 100 meters. So this is 100 comma 50, call that point T, and. Uh, starting point is at negative 100 comma 100 so let's begin with the idea here is if this is the tangent that hits the statue directly the slope of this tangent in calculus is dy dx it should be equated to the slope of this line which is delta y over delta x where delta y is 50 minus y and delta x is 100 minus x. And since we derive the equation of the parabola y, we can express it in terms of x and hopefully the only unknown left would be x. And from there we can solve for x, the coordinates of this point p, and y after we solve for x. So x squared equals ky or latus rectum y. Remember, for those who are already reviewing with their in respective engineering licensure exams, or for those who are true with calculus, uh, you should know the standard equation of a parabola that is open upward. If not, then I could say that you forget the, your experience with algebra or in 
curves, coordinates, or in analytic geometry. So let's substitute the coordinates of this point. Negative 100 quantity square equals k times 100. So that k is equal to 100 also. Having found k, the equation of the parabola therefore is x squared equals 100 times y. So we differentiate this dy dx which represents the slope of this tangent line. So 2x equals 100 dy dx. So dy dx which is the slope of the tangent is x over 50. And we also equate it to the slope of this tangent line which is 50 minus y over 100 minus x so 50 minus y over 100 minus x equals x over 50 and y is equal to x square over 100 so 50 minus x square over 100 all over 100 minus x equals x over 50 cross multiply 50 times 50 is 2500 then minus x square over 2 equals 100 x minus x square so, transposing negative x squared to the left, then it becomes positive x squared minus x squared over 2. So, x squared over 2, transpose 100x to the left, so minus 100x. So, x squared over 2 minus 100x plus 2,500 equals 0. Multiply everything by 2, so x squared minus 200x plus 5,000 equals 0. So, using your calculator, because that is allowed, we can now find x. And x should be uh, less than 100. The other root may be more than 100. So, that's absurd. So, x is equal to 29.29 meters. Then, y is 29.29 square over 100 and y is equal to 8.579 meters therefore the coordinates of the point so to answer the question point p is at 29.29 comma 8.579 or p should be 29.29 meters east of the origin and 8.579 meters north of the origin so that's it for this video i hope that you were able to follow the solutions and understand the explanations